Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to deal with error code SU30634-6. Now this is an error code that I was not familiar with, but we had a user uh, comment that he was getting this error as he was trying to reinstall some system software using a USB drive. So as we did a little bit of research, it looks like uh, it, this error has something to do with the files being corrupted on that thumb drive. So we're gonna show you some steps you can take to essentially rebuild that thumb drive and uh, get your PlayStation back up and running. So the first thing you're gonna want is a thumb drive that has at least two gigabytes worth of storage on it. Uh, in the description of this video, I will post an Amazon link to the uh, thumb drive that I'm using. I've had a lot of success with it. Uh, and you could pick one up if you don't have it. If you already have a thumb drive, uh, make sure that it's at least two gigabytes so that you don't run into issues. Uh, so I've already got the thumb drive plugged into my computer. Uh, if we click on it right now, you can see it's empty. There's nothing on it. Uh, so we're gonna take you back to the beginning, show you how to build this thumb drive and get it working. First thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that the thumb drive is formatted. Uh, we do that by going to our file explorer, right clicking uh, the thumb drive, select format. Now make sure that it's in FAT32. That's the, uh, I guess, format that the PlayStation likes the most. Seems to have the least amount of problems. Go ahead and click start. It will warn you that formatting this thumb drive will delete everything on it. For me, that's okay. Hopefully it is for you too. Go ahead and click okay. Format is complete. So go ahead and close that. Let's go back into our thumb drive. Now what we're gonna wanna do is right click and uh, go ahead and come down here, go to new folder. We're gonna name this folder PS4 and hit enter. Uh, we're gonna put it in all capitals. Now go ahead into the PS4 folder, right click, new folder, and let's name this update, all capitals, and go into that. Now this is the file location where we need to put the file that we're going to use. Um, so in this demonstration, we're going to be reinitializing a PlayStation completely from scratch. Um, this is where we're going to put it. If you're putting your, if you're just doing a software update and you're not reinitializing or, or uh, essentially nuking your PlayStation, you can use this too. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the PlayStation website, and the uh, web link to this website will be in the description of this video. Now, this is where a lot of people run into some issues because Sony did a great job of laying out this page, but they did not do a good job of explaining there are actually two different downloads on this page. If you scroll down here, um, you can see there are system software files uh, and there's a software update file. And if you scroll down, there's a complete system software file. So this upper one here is if you are just trying to, to update the software to the most current version. For example, if you had version 7.0 and now uh, there's an update to 7.02, this upper file is the one you want to download for that. If you are rebuilding your system or your system uh, has been corrupted and it won't let you even get to the login page, then you are going to want the complete system software file. And you can download that here. So you can go ahead and make the decision. If you're just upgrading and that's your goal, you want to use the upper file. Otherwise, you can use the lower file. Um, but be aware, using the complete system software file essentially nukes your hard drive and um, is going to delete everything on it and it's essentially like pulling a new PlayStation out of the box. Um, everything will be deleted and reinstalled. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions about this, I'm more than happy to answer it. Toss them in the comments and I'll explain the difference. But let's go ahead and download this file. 
and you'll see it begins downloading here in the lower left hand corner and it is named ps4update.pup. Now we're going to go ahead and skip ahead a little bit uh, to when this is done. And once this is done downloading, we'll show you how to move it to the folder. Okay, so that file just completed downloading. So what we can do is go ahead and click, click show in folder. We're going to either copy or paste the file. We're going to go back to our thumb drive into PS4 into update and then we are going to paste the file there. Okay, and now that file has finished moving over. Um, just to recap, some common errors that people run into um, are first, they do not format the hard drive. So you, before you do anything, make sure you format into FAT32. The next most common error is having uh, these file names incorrect. On the thumb drive, uh, when you go into it, the only folder that you should see should be labeled PS4, all capitals. When you go into it, it should say update in all capitals. Again, should be the only f uh, folder here. And then when you click, the only file you should see in here is ps4update.pup and it should be named that exactly. Um, one thing that I saw a lot was as I, well, let's not do that, as I uh, downloaded the same file multiple times, sometimes my computer would have it named something like this, PS4 update 1.pup. The PlayStation does not know to look for it uh, if it's named this. So if yours is named anything, um, weird like this go ahead right click select rename and delete the file uh, now that we've got those things uh, done exactly like that this should be ready to plug into our PlayStation and complete the update so we can go ahead and eject and let's go ahead and plug this into our PlayStation all right so we're here at our PlayStation now We've gone ahead and plugged in the thumb drive to the USB slot, and we have the PlayStation powered off. We now want to boot it in safe mode by holding the power button for about 10 seconds until we hear it beep twice. So when we hold down the power button, there's the first beep. Go ahead and continue holding. And there's the second beep. You can go ahead and let go of the button and you will see that the system boots in safe mode. Okay, now that we have the system booted in safe mode, it tells us to connect a DualShock controller using a USB cable, then press the PS button. So you go ahead and do that. Now, if you run into an error on that step, I've had quite a few people ask, use a different USB cable. Um, if you use one that comes with the PlayStation, you should be fine. But I've had a few USB cables and I don't know where they come from, but they're garbage. So if, if for some reason you can't get to this screen, try swapping out the USB cable and try again. Now that we're here, we are in our uh, safe mode options. We want to initialize uh, the PS4, uh, this option number seven, or we want to update the system software. So back on the Sony page where we had two different update files, this will depend on which option we select. If you are trying to essentially rebuild your systems from scratch, we're going to go to option number seven and reinstall the system software. So this is where we would plug in our thumb drive. We have the complete file downloaded and we would scroll over and click OK. We would follow the prompts all the way through and this would essentially factory reset our PlayStation, rebuild it. Uh, this is great if you're having any errors. This is the option I would suggest using. Um, and for the file that we downloaded, this is how I would continue. 
Now, if you were just trying to update, for example, from, from system software 7.0 to 7.02, then you would come up here to update system software, update from USB storage, and then click OK. Um, but be warned, if you didn't download the right uh, file, you're going to have some issues here. So um, hopefully that helps. Again, I don't want that to be too confusing, but there are a few different options. If you have questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. We'll do the best we can to help. Um, but that should resolve the issue that we're having. Um, if it doesn't, what I recommend, go back to the beginning of this video and follow all these steps using a different thumb drive. It could be that the file is getting corrupted as it goes onto your thumb drive. You've got some bad sectors there. Uh, go ahead and give that a shot. If you're still having issues, we're here to help. Post it in the comments. We'll do what we can. Appreciate your support, as always, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.